Hi guys! Okay, so it is festival time. I kind of already started a little bit co um, doing some tasks, some easy quick ones. Um, I'm just going to show how I delegate doing the 75 spices, like multiple ones. Um, that way, like if some of you are having trouble trying to complete that task, you want to, I think that this little timer here is very helpful. Um, for when you are just like getting on really quickly and checking to see if it re has reloaded You have an exact time of how much time you have left to wait for the per uh, the special tasks to reload um, and then also Say for instance you have like 15 minutes left and you haven't even served any of your special request orders and you just want to do a lot of the basic stuff like um, rose petals, anise, um, maybe some stonies, nutmeg, gallon gallon, ginseng. Maybe you don't want to use those, you're trying to avoid those for as long as possible because you don't have a lot of gifts to replenish those spices. Um, so, and then you also want to try and um, save your, what is it, um, your attempts um, because they don't reload until the evening time. Um, depending on where you're from and what time they reload. But for me, they don't reload until around about like 6 or 7 p.m. So I definitely try not to go through my attempts um, very quickly when I'm using, when I'm doing my 75 spices tasks. Um, I typically use those attempts a lot when I'm doing just the single spice task like for instance um, let me show you here so like this bad boy here that's a lot um, I try it's and it's very difficult but I try to complete my 75 spices task and I try to get all of my special orders if not all the way to the third or fourth um, request then to the fourth request Fourth request the third request you're there's like a mm, I guess 50 50 percent chance that you're going to get a yellow request which is all of your rare spices uh, cardamom saffron tapioca and all that um, but it's not guaranteed because you can also get um, something from the blue area which is your gallon gal and ginseng and you can still get something from your pink um, special request which is your sternies and nutmeg um, but I try to get at least to the third or fourth and complete and also like you know after completing my 75 spices and in hopes to avoid having to use a lot of my attempts to try and get the single item um, spice tasks so something like that or like that. I typically mainly have um, a lot of ganara and tapioca. So those are the ones that I mainly do because I get those very, very frequently in my phone orders. Let's see, there's one there. And, but right now I have a lot of tapioca saved because um, I did not have a lot of customers asking for them last week. And so I didn't use as many so yes this is what my spices tend to look like after saving when I have people bringing me spices every single day and then I do my phone orders within the 12 hour limit so that it refreshes like I always always do my phone orders even if they're giving me rose petals because I'm still getting something um, like you can never have too many rose petals or anise. Um, and if you do have too many, then you can always donate them. I donate mine. I actually need to go through these, go through my uh, simple, simple gifts and donate some. And I can show that later, what I do there. But I don't do that until after the festival. That way I know what I have left over and I can just, you know, donate the extra. Okay, so let's get started. Because I've already gotten him here. Um, 
I don't have a lot of nutmeg, so, but I will use it because it is paired with a, with a rose petal. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take care of these other orders first, all the white requests. So you should have eight requests. Always count, make sure you have all eight and that you have completed all eight. I always check to see what everyone asks for before I start. I'm trying to work down my rose petals because though I don't use as much rose petals as I do um, anise. So I know where everything is. Sorry, I know you can't really see Oops. everything. I have them blocked off because I'm trying to get my, ooh, I need to switch you. Um, I'm trying to level up my employees quicker. So, okay, you're done. doing that. I've been playing this game a long time, so it does not take me long to do these orders for them. them all situated. So I know I have a lot of stuff in here and this is just things that I've gotten over the years um, from playing the game. Now I typically try to avoid getting extra decorations especially if I have to buy them myself because as you can see I don't have the room and then at, at the same time I don't need it and I typically do not like it so I try to avoid it as much as possible because I just don't need it and then most importantly it's just way too expensive I know I have a lot of diamonds but again I will go over that in another video um, and that was not something that happened overnight like it took well pretty much almost a year to get this much um, not really but definitely over six months to get this much and that's because I've been consistent on with what I do and then um, I also do other things as well like it's not easy, I'm not gonna say it's easy to grow your diamonds, it's not. But let's just be honest, it's not easy. But it is possible. Okay, so the spices that I'm not gonna really use that much unless I have a lot, I mean a, another spice paired with it, are everything from my pink, which is Therese Nutmeg, and then Blue Gift. Jensen and Gal and Gal because I do not have a lot of blue gifts. I do have a lot of pink gifts again I get that from my daily spins when they offer two pink gifts It's the only that's why I have so many oh, wrong place. That's why I have so many pink gifts is because that's where I Use my tickets is when they're offering two pink gifts try to be very strategic on using my spices even if it's my pink gifts because I don't want to run through my pink gifts just because I have a lot I mean that 
I just I don't want to put myself in a position where, to where I have to use so many pink gifts and then next thing you know I hardly have any now they only offer the um, two pink gifts um, twice within an 11 day period so I am very careful I'm using it right now because I just have no choice um, this is my first 75 um, spices task so the first one I usually use my spices the first round I don't go through my attempts go ahead and change that oh I need to open that okay okay so I did I changed the nutmeg because I only have two left um, so there needs I get quickly not just from pink gifts but from phone orders as well so um, that's why I don't mind using that one did I oh wrong thing and I know I'm moving fast filling these orders um, but if you notice I try to hesitate before I click the here you go here's your order portion because sometimes as you can see like I just clicked on the wrong spice had I clicked on maybe you'd like something else by accident that would have been an attempt that just got that just got used for no reason and for those who do not have 70 attempts um, or 10 or 15 or however many else there is that makes a big difference that really does hurt you when you accidentally um, click that and I've done that many many times so try to go slowly whenever you're doing that because you don't want to accidentally click on it and then waste an attempt because who knows you may need it like just look at it this way you will always need it for something oh, yep I only have one gold. I typically don't use my gold. Um, as you see, I do not have a red gift because I really don't go all the way through the bunny game. I don't need to. Um, that's why I have so many gold gifts. Um, because when the bunny game first came out, I played every single weekend. Not during the week, just the weekend. And um, when they first made it, I always got a lot of gifts. And so that was my source before I found all of my employees that give me two spices a day. Um, that was my source of replenishing all of my spices that I use during the festival over the weekend. And once I found all of my employees and got them leveled up, I started to need the gold gift less and less. And then it got to a point to where I don't typically need the red gift at all. I think it is only really beneficial when um, for those who do not have such a easier time replenishing all their spices and um, I think you should only use them when you have cleared out I'm just gonna move all of this just so I can show an example okay so say you've done all of your um, spices tasks that you could possibly do and you've pretty much emptied out your spice box and you were very strategic and you didn't use as much um, gifts to complete the tasks you were able to do that without running through all of your resources this would be a good time to just replenish all of your spices using the red gift I of course do not have it but if I did and I you and my spice box looked something close to this um, or even if I had this right here I would still use it and replenish everything else. There's no point in opening 
a blue gift or a pink gift or a gold gift. I can just save those. I can just open up one red gift and it will give me everything. And then everything on top, everything else will just be um, earned from phone orders during the week. And when the next weekend come, like you should not need your spices that much during the week unless you're trying to participate in the bunny game every single time it comes, which I do not advise because that really does run down your tickets. And to get tickets, you have to serve special orders all the time. And I, I have a lot of spices now, but I just simply do not have the, I don't have enough spices to do something like that. So I wouldn't advise something like that. Um, pick, I suggest pick and choose when to participate in the bunny game and when to um, serve special orders when I start to get a lot a lot a lot of other spices that I just can't seem to work down that's when I participate in the barista challenge during the week um, but that's only when I get to a point to where I have certain spices taking up room in my spice box or I just have a very large quantity that I just cannot work down to for instance tapioca to just two spaces being taken by by that spice um, then I'll participate in the barista challenge um, I do not donate my rare spices to the Treasury um, because like I said I too have a hard time replenishing it at times um, I only send my rose petals and anise which I don't have any at the moment in my spice box but I send those to the to the Treasury when I have large quantities um, and also do it whenever I open up my simple gifts. I stop at a certain number because I like to keep some on backup, like 40 to 45 simple gifts just for me. Everything else goes to the treasury. And then I also make sure that I keep some here at the top and then at least um, an extra spot that has 20 down here in my second area. Um, for those who are VIP, I suggest that when you get to the second part of the spice box, don't open up everything right away. Only open up the spaces that you need. If you do not use all the spaces often, then you're, really, you're gonna be wasting diamonds. You really are. Um, I did not do that obviously all of my spaces are open um, so yes there's spaces that I don't use as often now there are times when I get pretty full um, because for some reason you just have those those weeks where the phone orders are just giving you four spices at a time every single time it refreshes and every single day so you really start to rack up some spices um, but that does not happen very very often so I suggest only open up the spaces that you need and for those who only have the first box and can only fit 15 um, my other account I can only fit 15 believe me I know the struggle it took me a long time to get where I am um, <laughs> I suggest again when you start getting to a point to where you're about to fill up on your spices especially if you have employees bringing you spices every single day participate in the barista challenge so say if you have someone bringing you gal and gal and serenese two of them a day then um only do those order orders from the barista challenge and what i like to do is i like to do, start a blitz um you know toggle the little blitz thing and only do orders that pertain to the spices that i want to work down just enough to be able to add more spices to it throughout the week so that it will be full by the time Friday comes. I never work it down to where it's practically empty and then I don't have enough for the festival. I only work it down enough to make more room for the remaining of the week. And that's what I do for um, pretty much all of my spices in my spice box on my second account. For this account, I really don't have to worry about that, but on my second account, um, I do have to worry about it. So I do participate pretty much every week um, because I tend to have to work down my spices for that.
I'm skipping those because I only have one and then I only have two nut bags, so this is where it gets to... Okay, that's a good one. Oh, didn't click that. Have to think for a minute. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Okay, I think that's everybody. Nope, that's her. And for my cardamom and saffron, I tried to keep those close together because those are the two that um, I do not get large quantities of often from my phone orders. So my main replenishment comes from um, my employee, my two employees, and from my gifts but I try to avoid opening my gifts unless I literally just really, really need more spices. Um, but I typically avoid that. Um, speaking of employees, I do not waste my diamonds on shorting, shortening the time span on, um, on the machines because it's just, it's just not worth it to me. It's really not. Um, there's a ton of machines here. They can go to another one. And sometimes they do do the craziest thing. They will go to an empty one instead of a full one. And they'll wait the entire time. It's so annoying. Um, but I really don't care. I do not. I would never advise wasting your diamonds on upgrading the time, the timer um, on these machines. I mean, well, reducing the timer, I mean. Now, for raising the prices on drinks or desserts, I advise 100% because you're increasing your prices on your drinks, which is very helpful. Um, and I, up, I uh, upgrade everything because, well, one, simple gifts help a lot when it comes to donating. And then um, you, I think the least important one is the... Um, work faster out of all three because um, they're gonna get the job done they're gonna be slow about it your customers luckily do not leave if they take too long to be served so they'll be fine um, it's just I like her to I like her to hustle I like her to get to the customers first I mean she already has first dibs when someone takes a seat but I, to me it just like guarantees that she's going to get oh it's equilibrium huh. It guarantees that she's going to get there a lot faster or serve um, the customers or do, does whatever a lot faster so I definitely but that's just me you don't have to like you don't need to upgrade it but if you want to you can but I suggest that should be something that's on the back burner focus more on raising the prices and the simple gifts because then you'll never have to worry about rose petals or anise like it's never never a concern like I really wish that I could avoid getting um, those spices from the phone orders because I don't need them like I get plenty from I have plenty of simple gifts and then you get plenty of simple gifts from completing the fourth order special request from your customers so you really do not need any more rose petals or anise from your phone booth I think they should definitely increase what you get as far as everything else um, when it comes to spices not just one but how about maybe two or three or four or five those should be the numbers that are used and I think you should be able to get more than one spice from a phone order instead I think like you know within an order like say for instance this one I wish I could get two spices like hey give me um, a gallon gal and a Serenese or something I think that would be very awesome and very helpful um, I will have to open this, but I'm gonna wait. So for now, that is all. I know this is a very long video. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, so I always like to check to make sure everyone is on their fifth requests and that the order has gold in it because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I think one of them um, actually asked for Saffron as their fifth special request order. <laughs> so all of that is taken care of. I have 45 minutes before they refresh and then I get to go again. Which is nice. See, I normally would not know that I only have 45 minutes left to wait for the for these orders, for their requests to refresh. And so I think it is, I find it very helpful personally. Um, yeah, well, that's all. If you guys have any questions, then feel free to ask. Um, I will make some more videos over this weekend pertaining to the festival, just showing like how I choose my tasks and uh, the process of, you know, making sure that I do not run through all of my resources, but still get something pretty high. Um, you do not need to be a VIP to um, be able to do high tasks. I know if you're not VIP, I think you're only able to fit 10 spices in your spice box. That means you're going to have a lot of gifts to hold on to. Um, and you're gonna have to be really strategic about the way you use your gifts and when to open them and you know making sure that you have enough space for the week and if you don't then being being able to work those down a bit so that you know you can fit more things in them throughout the week so that you're set for next weekend like there's different ways to do all of this um, I wasn't I didn't always have this other spice box open and when I opened this spice box I also opened up the um, being able to fit 20 spices in one little spot um, so I did start off low it's just it was a long process getting to where I am um, but if you're not going to be able to open up the second spice box you're always gonna have the 10 then there's ways to work around that. I mean, it does make things more complicated and it does take you longer to do things because you constantly have to open up gifts because you just don't have enough room to fit everything, but you can do it. You can do higher tasks and not run through your resources. And so, um, although I can't really show you guys that right now, I did not think to show my progress and getting to where I am now at all and I think if I'd done that it would have really been helpful so I'm sorry all I can do is just tell you verbatim on what I did and hopefully a lot of you will find it useful enjoy the video sorry for talking for so long <laughs>